hey thank you so much for watching thank you for sharing liking for making comments i really appreciate the conversation that these videos are causing us to have that's exactly why i wanted to talk with you um, today is Labor Day, so I am wanting to chat with you a little bit about the concept of labor. So first of all, I want to share with you, if you haven't already figured it out, uh, my accent is Eastern European. I was born and raised in Romania, and Labor Day was a really big deal for us. We celebrated it not in September, but in May, May 1st. Parades and fanfare around the idea that the persons who were laboring, working with their hands, needed to be honored. And I think that's really important to remember, that every single person on earth is meant to be honored for the work that they do, that they feel dignified in the work that they do, respected, and that the work that they do, that we do, whether it is we're working with our hands or with our minds or with our hearts, that we would be able to provide for our families and our communities through the work that we perform. Labor is a really interesting word, and it means, let me look up the definition, labor means to make a great effort, often through difficulty. And I don't think that that difficulty is meant to be quote unquote hard work. There's lots of people who perform hard work, and we look down upon the hard work that they do. Sometimes we tend to say, I don't want to work that hard. Often, as parents, we say to children, we want you to grow up, go to college, make something of yourself. Why? So that you don't have to work as hard as I did. I certainly grew up in that kind of a family, and I honor and cherish that motivation, but I also think it's a bit misleading because it leads you to believe that hard work is not good work. And I think that that's false. I think there's so much to be said about performing work that is difficult, performing work that feels like you have to put your all into it. And there's dignity in that, and there's honor in that, and I think it's important on Labor Day and every day to recognize the work that you do, the work that the people around you do, facilitates and builds like a net for each other. I think that's my very favorite thing about community and a working community. The working communities look at each other and recognize that they need each other. So maybe you are thinking of the person who bags your groceries. Perhaps you're thinking of the person that drives you to and from of your uh, working appointments, like your Uber driver or your bus driver. Perhaps you are thinking of the person who calls the elevator for you. Those are all people who work really hard. It's not just the leaders who work hard. It's not just the people who do jobs that we call heroic that work very hard. One of the images that comes to mind when I think of hard work is an image of a leader around 2008 who was running for political office and he really put his all into the work that he was doing. I find that image very inspiring because he's leaning back in his chair and he's put his feet up on the table, something that I don't necessarily enjoy seeing men do, but in this particular case, he's assuming a resting position and the shot was taken of the bottom of his shoes, the soles of his shoes, and they were worn out. The leader I'm thinking of is our former president, Barack Obama, who was walking the streets, going door to door, really investing himself in talking about what his vision was for for his campaign and for his country. Now, whether you agree with, uh, with, with our former president or not is beside the point. What is really important to remember is that good leaders, um, people who are really invested in the work that they do, are willing to do what is difficult. I think that's what I admire about people who do hard work. They get up in the morning and they do difficult things. They know it's going to be difficult, and they do it anyway. And they do it because they believe in their cause. And maybe the cause is lofty, and the vision is big, and maybe the cause is putting food on their family's table. I think they're both equally worthy, and I think on Labor Day it's really important to remember 
that no matter what kind of work you do, that it is, it does take great effort. And if you do it with great difficulty, whether emotional, physical, um, mental, it is worthy and it needs to be celebrated. So when I think back to my childhood and I think of the parades and I think of the faces and the people who were being celebrated, these were laborers, these were people who were factory workers, farmers, coal miners, um, and I think of their faces and their hands, their, their workers' hands, and how they persevered through their difficulties. Very different time, very different era, but I'm reminded that your work, our work, is connected to our pride, our purpose, our human dignity, our skills. It's connected to our strengths. It's connected to what we really believe in. And it's really important to celebrate that, to not gloss over that. Even if you are working like myself with a computer in a very comfortable office chair, it is good work. It is good for you to remember that you are part of the labor force. And that's a great word, the labor force. People who are behind our economy, our world, the way that it functions, the way that we all depend on each other. There is an energy that you actually belong to. And the work that you do is important and it is dignified and it is meant to contribute good things to your family, to yourself, and to your community. So on Labor Day, I like to imagine all of you as you are resting, perhaps, or perhaps you're working, perhaps you are taking the time to reconnect to why you work and what you would love to do if you are currently a bit sidetracked by what's happening in our economy and how our world has been impacted in our work. So whatever it is you're doing, remember that you are meant to do good, dignified work and that everyone around you has the same right and probably has the same desire as you do to contribute in a, in a, in a dignified way, even and in spite of difficulties.